Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you the various ways to connect to your nodes that have been instantiated in Integration Studio. In this example, I've created a 2023 template with three nodes. I then created instances of these nodes that have been set up by Integration Studio, and now they're up and running and ready to work. If I click this icon to the right, I'm presented with the three nodes that are currently running in this particular instance. If I click each individual node, I'm presented with the two options that are available to me. One of them is via browser or RDP. I'll click the browser. Once I click on that, a new tab will be opened up that automatically connects me and logs me into the VM. The resolution will be set to the window size of the browser that I'm on. In this example, I have it set to a full screen on a 1920 by 1080 display. All right, so I'll close that out and go back to Integration Studio here. If I'd like to make a direct RDP connection, before I can do that, I have to enter my host IP address in the whitelist. The whitelist only allows connections to VMs from my IP address that I specify. There are two levels I can specify these rules globally, which applies to all connections within the solution or per individual instances. When I click the rules, Integration Studio will show me the IP addresses that it sees that I'm currently using right here. If I'm using some sort of VPN or IP forwarding tools, this may be incorrect. Your results may vary. For now, I'll enter my IP address and add it to the list. Okay, now that I've set that up, I'll go back to this list here, click my node and click RDP. From here, Integration Studio will present me with the user credentials in order to connect to the machine. I can display this and just copy it if I want to. And then download the pre-configured RDP file. I'll click that, put my password in there and click OK. Click yes to the security notification and connect.